Welcome to the Stealth Channel, in today's video we will examine the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray, the US Navy's tanker drone. Before we get to today's video, if you enjoy the content on this channel, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help this channel grow. Feel free to leave a comment below to suggest stealth platforms you would like to see this channel cover in the future. I hope you will enjoy my content and continue to come back for more. Now on to today's video. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is a carrier-based stealthy aerial refueling drone developed for the United States Navy. It was developed under the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, or CBARS program. The MQ-25 is intended to fill the aerial refueling mission currently being filled by FA-18 Super Hornets that are equipped with a buddy store system. The CBARS program grew out of the cancelled U-Class program. In 2016, it was reported that a significant portion of the effort would be directed to produce a Super Hornet-sized carrier-based aerial refueling tanker as the carrier-based aerial refueling system, with a little ISR, and some capabilities for communications relay, and strike capabilities put off to a future version of the aircraft. General Atomics proposed their Sea Avenger concept for the Sea Bars program, which was enlarged from its existing Predator Sea slash Avenger drone for the refueling mission. Northrop Grumman withdrew its X-47B from the C-BARS program in 2017 saying the company would have been unable to execute the program under the terms of the service's request for proposals. Lockheed Martin proposed their Sea-Ghost concept for the C-BARS program, which is based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. Boeing revived its U-Class design, which it had completed in 2014, for the C-BARS program and unveiled their prototype on December 19, 2017. On August 30, 2018, the U.S. Navy announced Boeing as the winner of the competition and awarded an $805 million development contract for four MQ-25A aircraft to be completed by August 2024. An additional three test MQ-25As were ordered on April 2, 2020 for a current total order of seven. The program may expand to $13 billion overall and consist of 72 aircraft. One of the deciding factors in the decision was that, unlike its competitors, Boeing actually had a flying prototype. The MQ-25 took its first flight on September 19, 2019 at Mid-America St. Louis Airport in Mascouda, Illinois. On June 4, 2021, the first refueling test was conducted, with the MQ-25 providing fuel to a Boeing F-A-18F Super Hornet strike fighter. In August 2021, the MQ-25 successfully refueled a Northrop Grumman E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft. In September 2021, the MQ-25 successfully refueled a Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. In December 2021, the MQ-25 arrived aboard the USS George H.W. Bush CVN-77 for the start of carrier compatibility testing. Vice Admiral Kevin Whitesell told a panel at the Sea Airspace 2022 Symposium that the service was on track to reach initial operational capability for the MQ-25s by 2025 and deploy the aircraft on USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, by 2026. We look forward to the start of the launch and recovery phase of the MQ-25's testing program in the near future. Thank you for watching today's video, we hope you enjoyed it, and will continue to come back for more.